What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I have a very unique challenge. It's 2,500 calories burned in one day. I have three workouts planned. The first workout I've already completed is at Orange Theory Fitness. I'll share those stats in just a little bit. I have two more workouts the rest of the day. My two workouts, one of them is going to be a running based workout, one of them is going to be in the weight room. Anyhow, 2,500 calories in one day. It's going to be really hard to pull off. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, so a little midday update on my calories. I'm at, according to the Apple Watch, 1,325. Don't know if you can see that too well or not, but anyhow, I wanna show you what I ate for breakfast and some of my snacks I'm gonna eat today. Uh, first off is the Dave's Killer Bread Bagels. That's what I had for breakfast, just one, nothing on it, just plain. One of my favorite snacks mid-morning or mid-afternoon, or sometimes I eat it with lunch, is some Greek yogurt. This is the Oikos Triple Zero blueberry flavor. And then usually I have a perfect bar or a cliff bar. So this is the cliff bar. I already had one today. It was my mid-morning snack. But sometimes I'll save that for mid-afternoon. And I might actually have two today just because I'm going to be burning so many calories. And then for lunch, uh, I'm taking the rice out of the equation currently. I'm just eating straight chicken. And my wife and I don't cook a whole lot at home. So meal prep is kind of non-existent. So I go buy the no drain chicken, uh, different, different brands you can find this in, but it's just a bag of chicken and you can just heat it up. Most people buy this stuff to like do chicken salad and all that, but literally I just dump it into a bowl, put it in the microwave and that's my lunch, put some hot sauce on it. But anyhow, we're a little bit over halfway there on our calorie total. We're trying to get to 2,500 today. We're over 1,300. So a little bit further to go. I'll keep you updated. Stay tuned. So one thing I'm doing to help burn some extra calories, just in case you don't know, I am a school teacher. I go out in the hallways, it's right here, and I walk down back and forth just to get a couple extra steps in. I go up and down the stairs a little bit. It's just now I'll finish my lunch break and I have one class left and I'll be able to do both my workouts A and B today. It's a two mile run and then a little bit of strength training in, involved. I don't think it's gonna total 1200 calories. So I gotta find a way to keep working, keep getting some calories burned. Maybe go home and take my dog Winnie out for a longer walk than normal. But anyhow, I think I'm going to make it, but that's just one way I'm doing some extra calories. All right, guys, so work is over, and I have a 25-minute jog I'm about to go for, and then some lifting when I get back. Anyhow, I'm almost at 1,500 calories, so I'm about 1,000 away, so i got to make this workout a good one. Let's get to it. All right, y'all just finished up my workout in the weight room and I'm at 2,114 calories. I'm so close to 2,500. I'm definitely gonna get there at some point this evening. I'm gonna take my dog out for a walk. I might hit it then. I might go out longer than normal. But anyhow, I'll give you an update when I get to it. 2,500 calories. I'm less than 400 to go. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we just got 2,500 calories on the watch. There it is. I don't know if you can see it or not, 2,501, I already burned extra. Anyhow, hard day. And it started at 5 a.m. at Orange Theory. We had 
a benchmark run, a one mile for time, plus all the other components of Orange Theory Fitness. And then I had to go to work, but I did some extra walking, went up and down the stairs, down the hallways a few times. And then I had two different workouts I just stacked on top of each other, a 25 minute jog, and then some weight room, uh, not really lifting, but just some weight room movements. And then when I got home, I took Winnie out for a long walk. Winnie's my dog, by the way, if you didn't know that. And then after we got back from dinner, still didn't have 2,500 calories. So I took Winnie for another walk after we ate, after she ate dinner. And then I still wasn't there. So I just came down to my basement, did some stretches. And I knew I was really close. I knew just a few stretches would get me there. But anyhow, 2,500 calories. Feels good to be here. It's gonna feel real good sleeping tonight. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna wrap up the video, but before I do that, I just wanna explain one little thing. I'm gonna show you this picture right now, and this is my calories from yesterday. I had 2,500, actually over 2,500 calories for move calories, but if you look a little bit closer, you'll see over 5,000 calories burned on the total calories. And the only difference between those two is total calories represents all parts of the day. Even if you're just sitting down for an hour or if you lay down, total calories represents everything, even breathing whereas the active calories go to the move. So anything such as walking, uh, exercising, lifting, anything like that goes towards that move. So that's why that was my goal, to get 2,500 calories on the move, not just total. Anyhow, thank you for watching these videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.